In my prior videos, I talked about the fact that I am worried about the Season 2 update for Modern Warfare 3 Zombies and that it just won't be substantial enough due to various different reasons. However, it was announced that Season 2, which is going to be releasing next week on the 7th of January, is going to be a Zombies-themed season as it's all going to be focused around The Walking Dead. And it seems like we'll even be getting a Walking Dead Battle Pass with Rick Grimes and Michonne Operators. And we got a cool trailer that was a recreation of the intro for The Walking Dead and in it we see zombies all over Urzikstan but there is also a newspaper that reads Hero Officer Returns investigates mysterious zombies nest in Fortune's Keep which seems to be suggesting that we might finally be getting zombies on Fortune's Keep which is definitely something that is much needed for this update because a new map will be revolutionary. Right now people are definitely very bored of Urzikstan and a whole new map will be a lot more fun and is definitely what Season 2 needs to be successful because I'm worried that this update is just going to have some basic things like an x streak system that was leaked and some other stuff like that, but nothing too substantial. And I really think that this Season 2 update needs a new map such as Fortune's Keep or Rebirth Island as well as a main easter egg. Now a lot of the marketing focus for Season 2 thus far has been around Fortune's Keep returning. They sent a load of different segments of Fortune's Keep to various different influencers and it seems like the map's actually going to be different now because an earthquake has gone through it and destroyed some sections such as the winery I believe, so it's not going to be identical to the version we had before in the original Warzone which was only in the game for about 4 months or something like that before it got removed, so it's unfortunate that I had such a short period and it's good that this new version is going to be changed. I'm glad that it will be returning finally, Rebirth Island will be returning at some point as well, however that will be later on in a further season, probably I reckon season 3 or 4. We know it's going to be springtime, so we actually got some information leaked on Fortune's Keep's return, so apparently it's going to feature a new new intro to the map spawn, there's going to be an elimination celebration, squad elimination streak, there's going to be a bunker buster kill streak, a signal public event, there's also apparently going to be a zombie hunt contract and this is important and I'll come on to that in a second. Now we did actually have zombies on the original Fortune's Keep, there was a little easter egg with it that I posted on my channel ages ago, so zombies canonically are in the map and there's going to be a contract even surrounding that, there's also going to be a research barge and a new location with a bridge that can be opened and closed and yeah, like I said, there's going to be some map changes considering the earthquake has gone through it. So regarding this newspaper, it might not actually be hinting at zombies being playable on Fortune's Key because it could just be referencing this contract, especially considering there was a zombies easter egg on Warzone when the map was initially added anyway. So unfortunately, we are still waiting for the full roadmap. I don't know why they dropped the trailer without giving us a roadmap, which also has me worried for zombies because so far literally nothing Thing has been announced for zombies. And yeah, Fortune's Keep, whilst it's confirmed for Warzone, we don't know in terms of zombies. So far, there's been no reference apart from this little Easter egg within the trailer, which, like I said, I don't know if it's referring to this contract or if it's referring to Fortune's Keep physically being playable in zombies. The roadmap should confirm whether or not this is the case and whether it will be there on launch or Season 2 Reloaded. There was actually an Infinity War developer that said they have been cooking for Season 2 for Modern Warfare Zombies. Um, I don't know why Infinity War developers are working on it. We don't know if Infinity Ward are now taking over. There's rumours that Treyarch are now moving focus on just COD 2024 Zombies, Black Ops Gulf War, the return to round base. So they may be moving on and then Raven Software and Infinity Ward may be finishing the updates for it. That's a possibility. Uh, it's rumoured that uh, PvP side mode is going to be coming at some point. We don't know if it's in Season 2 or later, but maybe that could be developed by Infinity Ward since they worked on the original DMZ anyways that had PvP. So that's always a possibility. And yeah, it does seem like we'll be getting a new Act 4 story mission in in this season two, but so far there's not been anything announced for zombies. And what I'm worried about is that whilst this Infinity War developer tweet gave me hope, because this is a zombies themed update, so we've gotten a trailer, like I said, but this is only for the multiplayer updates for this event. And like I said, this season is all going to be zombies focused because of the Walking Dead update. And in the trailer, we actually see quite a few awesome features, but all of the zombies related stuff in this trailer is zombie stuff coming over to multiplayer. So there's going to be six brand new 6v6 maps, which is awesome. Of course, the game only re launched with remasters, so it's good that they're catching up, and we're getting a full three. So there's going to be one which is Stash House, there's going to be another one, which is Vista 6v6 as well, and we're also getting Departures. Um, so yeah, awesome that multiplayer is getting some juicy stuff. There's going to be a new war mode map as well called Operation Tin Man, and it's going to have a dynamic map element where the middle of the map can actually collapse. So yeah, great that we're getting another Warzone map, so multiplayer is really 
saw in this season. However, zombies are actually coming to the multiplayer maps. Horde Point is going to be returning. This is what we saw in COD World War 2, for example. And essentially, this is just Hard Point, but there's going to be zombies as well. So we see zombies on Terminal. There's also going to be a zombified version of the Overgrown map, as well as Overrun. Overloaded. And this is cool zombies coming to multiplayer. However, it has me concerned that possibly that Infinity War tweet was just referring to this, because technically it could be. Technically, this is zombies content coming to the game. However, it's just in the multiplayer side of the game, not actually the physical zombie side. And considering that the trailer shows literally nothing coming to zombies, it has me concerned. Will Fortune's Keep potentially be in zombies straight when the season launches? Or maybe we're only going to be able to play it in zombies with Season 2 Reloaded? Again, we're still waiting for the roadmap. Maybe Season 2 Reloaded is going to be the big update and Season 2 at launch is just not really going to have much for zombies. And this is the same thing as what happened with the Halloween haunting event for Modern Warfare 2 as well. We got zombies infected and we had a couple zombified versions of multiplayer maps. And then it recently also happened with Modern Warfare 3 where we got the void mode with the ray gun. And once again, we got zombified versions of multiplayer maps that look so, so cool. And yet the actual zombies mode itself didn't get these maps. So I'm really praying considering that we've had so many multiplayer maps redesigned for zombies that they're not just using them for limited time modes. And eventually they're going to add Onslaught or some sort of round based watered down version into the zombies mode itself. I'm praying that is the case. Maybe that's going to be something coming in season two. We don't know. We're still waiting for the roadmap, like I said. But right now, there's literally three maps from the Void maps. We have two maps from Modern Warfare 2. And then there's another couple maps with this update that have zombified versions. So we have by far enough maps now to release an onslaught or a round based version of these multiplayer maps into zombies. Because surely they're not using up all of these resources and dev time to just make them for limited time modes and not be in the zombies mode themselves and not be in the zombies modes themselves. I just don't understand how multiplayer is getting more zombies content than the zombies mode itself. It's so bizarre. Now there is also going to be this cool new ghost skin which looks really cool. Laswell is confirmed to be an operator in this season too. She looks kind of weird though within the trailer. Definitely nowhere near as high quality as within the campaign. And we know that the Anvil B or the FN2000 as well as the MTAR seem to be coming. So yeah, right now everything is pretty much leaning on us waiting for that roadmap because right now it does seem like not much might be coming for zombies but maybe we're going to be surprised. But yeah, the reason why I'm concerned is the fact that this is a zombie season and yet why has zombies not been shown in the marketing at all besides a little hints? Everything so far zombies related is just for multiplayer or for Warzone. And considering that zombies got shafted with the Christmas update as well as the boys update not getting anything really for zombies, I hope that this trend doesn't continue leading into season two and it has me worried that this mode is being discontinued early and the updates are starting to slow down early just like with what happened to DMZ later in the seasons where then it eventually got discontinued. There was lots of content for DMZ at the start and then it really slowed down with not much in the last couple seasons. However, with Modern Warfare Zombies, it's slowing down literally way sooner. Even season one didn't really have much substantial for zombies, just the Dark Aether and the Red Worm boss and some new schematics. It really wasn't enough for a full season and we still are in need of many quality of life improvements. So I think that this season might literally just have some cool quality of life improvements. Maybe Fortune's Keep is coming to zombies, but it might not be there on launch. It might be season two reloaded or even beyond then. Personally, in order for this season to be successful, like I said, I think it really needs to have Fortune's Keep. I think it really needs to also have a main Easter egg added, something substantial, as well as the quality of life improvements too, an increase of the stash, an Xbox streak, the wallet system, which probably are coming this season, but those alone are not enough, especially because they were in DMZ anyways. These features just should have been in the game from the get-go. So yeah, in conclusion, I'm worried for Modern Warfare 3 Zombies Season 2 because I was already worried before we got the trailer, and now that we've gotten the trailer and the marketing and there's literally no mention of zombies in there and the only zombie stuff is zombies coming to multiplayer, I'm worried because the same thing happens with the Christmas update for Modern Warfare 3 where we got a zombies Santa inside of Warzone and a zombies event inside of Warzone. Zombies technically were included in that event, but not within the zombies mode itself. I don't know why zombies didn't get that exact same LTM or some sort of zombie Santa themed quest. It really is bizarre that the most zombies content is being released in modes that aren't even zombies. And maybe in their heads, they feel like zombies players are getting satisfied because there is technically still zombies. It's just in multiplayer or war zone and not the zombies mode itself. And maybe that's why zombies is getting left behind because the only zombie stuff is ending up in other modes. It definitely seems like zombies is not being supported anywhere near as well as the other modes 
modes, which really has me question how successful the mode is because it seems like it's taken a long time to find lobbies nowadays. And they did say that Modern Warfare Zombies has apparently had way more players than Spec Ops in Modern Warfare 2019 and Modern Warfare 2, which I guess should be obvious anyways, and it has had good playtime, but maybe the play base is dropping off quickly. But I think the only reason for that is because there hasn't been substantial content in Season 1, and people who have gotten all of the smacks, they don't want to just keep redoing the same contracts over and over and over again. So the replay value has gone there, which is why Season 2 really needs to be a solid update, and uh, I'm a bit worried. So tomorrow, hopefully we'll get a roadmap and be surprised, and there's lots of awesome stuff coming, but I am worried because Zombies seems to only be getting content in the modes that aren't goddamn zombies. But yeah, let me know if you're feeling the same stuff in the comment section down below as always. Multiplayer seems to be getting a lot this season. I guess Warzone will be getting Fortune's Keep later. Still unsure if it'll be coming to zombies or not, or whether the zombies reference is just regarding that contract, uh, regarding zombies being inside of Warzone and not the zombies mode itself on Fortune's Keep. We'll have to wait and see. Anyways, thank you for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe if you're not here for latest and greatest Call of Duty news and information. So anyways, thank you for watching and uh, bye.